High Hopes Gardens, a diversified seven-acre farm, lies in the rolling Iowa hills near Melbourne, southwest of Marshalltown. Mark Runquist and Linda Barnes installed a wind turbine in 2008 for their farm and home energy use. We also have uh, 19 sheep on the ground this year. We'll have some broilers, some turkeys, uh, some laying hens, just a broad variety of things, main, mainly for the local market. We do deliveries at our church, uh, flower subscription, bouquet, um, and direct market to meat. We're very big advocates of, of sustainability and treading lightly on the earth. And so one of our goals is to try to provide for as many of our own needs as possible in a sustainable way and to leave the land better than we found it. We had been that way about providing a lot of our own food, but energy was a big hole in our sustainability efforts on our farm here. To fill this energy hole, the family decided to install a three-blade SkyStream wind turbine in 2008. So we have a, it's rated as 3.2 kilowatt. It's rather hard to rate wind turbines because at any one moment they may be producing between zero and 5,000 kilowatt hours instantaneously. So they take the average wind speed of 12 miles an hour and figure out how much it would produce at a year um, at that rate. So it's rated at 3.2 kilowatt. Um, and this turbine was, it's manufactured in Flagstaff, Arizona. So it's an American company. Um, the price was right and the size was right. Our wind turbine has, has actually performed better than we thought. We don't have a very ideal site and our installer warned us about that because we have trees to the southwest and southeast of it. You're supposed to be you know, a certain distance away from the closest wind for optimal production. We knew it wasn't an optimal position but it was important enough for us that we did it anyway and it's, it's been producing great. So about five years before we actually installed the turbine, we started looking around at what our options were. And at that point, the only turbines were really, really small, like for RVs and boats, or like 10 kilowatt machines that were like fifty to $60,000 with only a one-year warranty. And we didn't have net metering with our, with our electric utility co-op. But we just kind of sat for a while and waited for things to happen and then when Skystream Energy came out with this 3.2 kilowatt machine that was at about $10,000 with a five-year warranty, I mean that kind of got rid of a lot of the barriers that the original search. And then our electric co-op, Consumers Energy, also changed the net metering policy. The first few people that come online will get full retail price on the net metering. So whatever goes back to the line, we get the same amount for as whatever we use. Before installing the turbine, the family reduced their farm and home energy needs as much as possible. We made a conscious effort to reduce our energy use, so by replacing our light bulbs, getting energy efficient appliances, having a better awareness of our energy. Our net energy savings from upgrading our appliances and reducing our energy consciously was 333 kilowatt hours. The first year, the wind turbine produced 334 kilowatt hours, so we got exa almost exactly the same savings from the energy reduction efforts as we did from installing the turbine at a much lower cost. So that was a real lesson to me that people say this, but it really is true. Mark's data shows that the wind turbine provides 39% of the farm and home's annual electrical energy needs on average. I have a blog where I publish, I publish all of my data every year in terms of how much energy that's producing and how much our household uses, so that's all publicly available. So yeah, so I'm very, I'm very interested in, in sharing so people can make a good decision whether it's going to work for them or not. The family also received federal tax credits that equaled 30% of the total cost. This tax credit is available until 2016. With the tax credit, the turbine cost about $10,000. You know, it's, 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 it's a new industry. There's lots of people who are reputable and there's some people, unfortunately, who aren't so reputable. So I think it's really important that you talk to people who have the machine and, and get their impressions of how it's working.